Hi guys, welcome to another RGI Easy Sewing Session with myself, Avena Prince. And welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you who are just seeing our videos for the first time. I hope you subscribe. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing to this channel. And um, for those of you who keep watching our videos, thank you so much for investing your time in what we do. Today, I am going to show you how to create your sleeves. That's an area quite a few of our students are having trouble with and I just want to show you exactly how to do that. Now mind you, there are different ways to do it, but I am going to teach you the simplest method that I know, the one that I use most times when I am making garments. So ensure that you stay on to the very end of this video because there's a very important part concerning the hem of the sleeve that I will explain and you need to know this. Okay, so let's do this. Okay guys, so you are going to need two measurements. You're going to need your upper arm, so basically the widest part of your arm. And you will need what is called your cap height, which would start from your shoulder joint right here. And if you have difficulty finding that, you can only lift this area. And once you do that, you actually feel where the joint is. So you're going to use the joint here down to the curved area right there so the end of the curve curved area okay so again you will need your the widest part of your upper arm and your cap height once you have these measurements i am going to work with 12 inches for a, for my upper arm and the cap height is generally about five inches and to that i will add half inch which is going to be my sewing allowance so for that part of the measurement i will work with five and a half and for my upper arm measurements to this i am going to add three inches which would serve as my sewing allowance that brings us to 15 and that number you would divide by two which would give us 7.5 okay so the measurements we're going to use for this are 7.5 and 5.5. Okay, wonderful. Now that we have that, I'm just going to flip my paper and I'm going to work with this very same one. I will measure 7.5. Okay, so I'm just putting a point where that is and going downwards and I'm working with inches. I'm going downwards, I would have 5.5 inches okay i'm going to connect everything okay now now i'm going to draw a diagonal line okay so we have nine inches and we go halfway so that brings us to 4.5 and then we take half of that which brings us to 2.25 and so basically what we're doing we are dividing the measurement into four quarters on the top quarter right here so our top half we're going to go up three quarter of an inch and for our bottom piece we're going to go down half inch this is standard whenever you are creating your sleeve on the upper part you would go up three quarter of an inch and on the bottom part you would go up you would go down sorry or you would go inward half inch okay so from this point we're going to connect okay so basically this is going to be the top part of your sleeve at this point we're going to continue on with our vertical line And here we are going to 
work with our arm measurement. So that's the upper arm measurement that we had, which was 12 inches. So we have 12 inches and we would add our sewing allowance. I normally advise my students that if you are learning, you work with one inch sewing allowance so that in the in the event that you were a little bit off on your measurements, then that one inch, if you if it's too small, then you have some allowance that would allow you to widen whatever it is you were making. So you could work with your one inch sewing allowance, but generally when you sew, and especially when you do a sleeve, you would work with half inch sewing allowance. So I'm going to work with one inch, okay? And of course you would have your other measurements as you are going down, but we only have this one. So I'm just going to keep it here. And slant it slightly, okay? So this everyone is what your sleeve would look like. This area here would be our fold. And at this point, I'm just going to cut off my sleeve pattern. Okay guys, so I created this, but there is one thing that I really think I need to point out to you all. So I just redid some of this. So I just redid the measurements. Okay, I did that off camera. And one thing that is very important, because you will notice that as this goes down, that it slants. So that means this area is wider than the bottom. And oftentimes when people are constructing garments, that is something that they miss and it causes quite some issues. So what you're going to do, once you have uh, determined your measurement of your sleeve and you know the allowance that, is going, that you're going to use for your hem, once we have that measurement, we would add our hem allowance. At this point, you fold the area. So you're going to fold your hem allowance and we are going to continue on to our finishing point and then we will cut okay the reason for this as i said is because there is a slant now if your sleeve is going to be straight then this is not necessary but because there is going to be a slant to prevent difficulty when you are actually completing your hem. You fold it so it will be easier when stitching. Okay? And just so that you can see the actual difference we have, hmm, you'll notice that it goes out slightly here. So when you are sewing, it will be much easier. Okay? okay. So I am going to cut my sleeve. And this, notice that my fabric is folded right here. And here we go okay everyone so this is what our standard inset sleeve looks like okay now for the front of the sleeve at this point right here this is the middle part of our sleeve we are going midway here we measure quarter of an inch So you measure a quarter inch and this is only for the front side and so you notice that I am not cutting the back area.
okay so this is what your sleeve would look like okay you could put an indication so i'm just going to put a notch right here so once you are sewing you know right away which area is your back and which is your front this is what your sleeve looks like and once you are stitching remember you left one inch sewing allowance so you would go and sew one inch in this area okay of course if you left less sewing allowance than that you sew according to the sewing allowance you left okay guys that brings us to the end of our video i trust that you learned a lot and remember we do offer sewing classes you could go on to our website www.royalglobeinc.com it is down in the description below so that you can go directly to there and you can sign up for our online classes okay so until next time bye